Okay, so today we are going to create our very first project in Photopea. I'm going to show you how to set up your document. You're going to go to File, New. We have these options of templates over here. We're going to go ahead and ignore them. And we are going to come back over here. We're going to name it Nameplate. That is the name of the assignment. We're going to make this four inches. Actually, let's make it five inches. Set this to inches by two inches in height. Make your DPI 150 inches, and then you're gonna hit create. Now we have our nameplate here. So we are going to navigate to our type tool, which is on the toolbar, it's the, or the tools panel. It's the letter T. Um, you can also use the shortcut um, using the letter T on the keyboard to bring up your tool your uh, type tool, or you can click on the letter T. Either way is fine. There's two ways to get type on a page. The first way is to just click and it places your cursor. Now I can start typing and there's my name. The second way is I'm gonna click on my type tool again and draw out a type or a, yeah, a text box. So if I click in here and start typing my name, it will put my name within this box, okay? So either way is fine for this project. I'm going to show you. Now I have two layers over here with my name, okay? The first one and the second one. I am going to now edit my name. So with the first one, I'm gonna take my text tool and just drag across, click and drag and highlight it. To change my font, I'm gonna come up here and this is the, the font. These are the fonts that are listed in Photo P. Okay, so just choose one. There's probably far more fonts in here than you have seen in Google Docs or um, Word, Microsoft Word. All right, so now to change the size, you're gonna come right here and you can use this slider to adjust it. And you notice the bigger, it, makes it, it's going off the page. So I need to adjust that. Click on my move tool and just bring it back onto the page. I'm gonna reselect it. I'm gonna go back to my type tool and double click. I'm gonna change the color by clicking here. Uh, let's go red with this one and hit okay. You have to hit okay in order for your color to stick. And now I have a red nameplate there. I'm gonna click on this one and show you, so same thing. I'm just gonna either put my cursor at the end or the beginning and drag across and change the color. Um, I kinda like this font, so I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna change the size a little bit and move it over. Let's make this one blue. All right, now we have red and blue, okay? So this is my name. That's two ways to write fonts on your page. I'm going to now save this. This is very important. Okay, so let's say um, I'm running out of time. I gotta get to my next class. I'm not done though, so what do I do? I need to make sure that I can come back and fix this later. So I'm gonna save it as a PSD file. A PSD file will save these layers so you can come back and edit later. So you go save as PSD, okay? That will give me a PSD file of my name, okay? The next way is I'm completely done, can turn it in, I'm ready to turn it in, don't need to do anything else to it. Now I'm gonna export it as a JPEG file. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. And now I have two different types of files. Let me open them back, close this, and open them back up. So I'm gonna to go to file, open, find where downloaded should have been in your downloads folder. Let's open up my nameplate JPEG file. Okay, remember, I'm ready to turn this one in, don't need to edit it, but oh man, I made a mistake. I wanna change this font, I'm not really digging it. I'm going to go to my text tool and click, but oh man, it won't let me edit. That's because 
my files have been flat or my layers have been flattened and I can't edit a flattened file. Okay, so that's a real bummer, right? So I'm gonna have to start all over again. Okay, it's very important that you guys always save the Photoshop document. I'm gonna open it up or a PSD document. I'm gonna go back, open up my PSD document. And now I still over here, I have these two layers that I can edit and I'm gonna click. And if I select it, yes, I can edit this one. All right, I'm good to go. I can click on a different font. I can change the size. I can change the color. I can move it around if I wanted to. All right, cool. This is what you want when you come back after you've saved it as a PSD file. You want to be able to come back and edit. Don't save as a JPEG until you're ready to finally turn it in. Okay, it could be you could have five of the same PSD files because um, every time you go to file, save as PSD, it's going to save it and give it a new number right next to it. Okay, so just this one is nameplate three one because I already had one. Um, so just be aware of that every time you're saving it as a PSD file, maybe delete the previous one. That way you don't get confused on what um, files are what. All right, so I'm going to save this one more time as a JPEG. I'm going to export it as JPEG, save. Now I'm ready to turn this one in because this is my nameplate, okay? All right, so that is your first assignment. You are going to create a nameplate that is five inches by two inches, 150 DPI dots per inch. You're going to name it nameplate, and you're just going to write your name with the type tool, and you're going to change the font, the size, and the color. You're going to save it as a JPEG and a PSD file and turn both of them in because I want to see that you know how to save both types of files.